good afternoon family it is now 2 32 in the afternoon i didn't know if i was gonna vlog today but we decided that we're gonna go to el hipódromo de hialeah for those of you guys that don't know hipódromo which i have no idea how to say that in english is basically the racetrack where people go to race horses they have one in hialeah it has been on since the 1950s it's a very popular spot where people go there to spend some time with the family, eat, go with friends, and even put bets on your favorite horse. And the location to this park is roughly about 60 miles away from the house. That's about 32 minutes away. But first, I need to put gas. And for those of you guys that are not from Miami, let me give you the prices on gas. That way you guys have an idea. Right now, I'm putting the cheapest gas, which is at 283 more or less that gives you an idea of how much we pay for gas in miami so guys we just arrived to the hialeah casino racetrack and as soon as you come in you see this beautiful entrance and in case you guys don't want to do a lot of walking they also have shuttle service and as you can see they also have outdoor activities like dancing salsa and all of that at night salt And as you guys can see, this is where you will sit and watch the racers happen. But there's nobody here today. It's actually close. This place is close. This place is close. Look, that was supposed to be sand and it's full of grass. I can't believe we came all the way to Hialeah <laughs> for this. As you can see, we have a really nice view of trees right on. and grass. There's somebody there, but we should probably ask them if this place is closed, if it's still open. Just amazing. Ay, mi vida. ¿Qué podemos hacer? Yo se lo so we just asked someone that works here and they say that they do the races every once in a while but it's only during season, during winter. So then that means that we're gonna wait. That's right. So let's go follow our babies. This was a big fail guys. This only happens in Hialeah. By the way, just a quick fact, Hialeah is the one city in Miami that's mostly populated by Cuban Americans. So guys, we just had an encounter with a security guard and he told us that we cannot have a vlogging camera or a professional camera inside the premises. I don't even think we're supposed to be here. But we're breaking the rules. The beautiful blondie wanted to break the rules. I'm gonna confess my love to you right now by getting on one knee. I'm the one supposed to get on one <laughs> knee, not you. I know. But since you're not doing it, let's go. Oh my god, it's gonna be Let's go. Let's keep on moving. As you can see, There's everything here, here is abandoned. There's nobody here. And it's because, you know, I mean, they should on Sundays have events and where, you know, this is a family friendly place. And they should have things here to do. This message is for the city of Hialeah. They even have los estos eso que son para los for the horses. For the horses. This will be a pretty cool place to come with your kids if you have kids and spend a Sunday here. They have restaurants, they have bars. So guys, in Miami, people go above and beyond in order not to pay for tolls. As you guys can see, this guy in front of me. He's driving a pickup truck and he lowered the back of the bed just so that when he passes through some pass, the camera doesn't capture the tag of the car. Well guys, as you can see, we just got home and we decided to go grab something to eat. We went to a restaurant called Duffy's. It's pretty much the same type of American food as Flanagan's 
or the A house. And as you can see on this video, they give you a VIP reward card, meaning that with every visit that you make to the restaurant, you get either a free appetizer or a free dessert. We went to this restaurant because we hadn't eaten anything since this morning, and as you saw on this video, our visit to the Hialeah Park was not a success story. It is 6.30 in the afternoon. My parents are getting ready to come visit us at the house, but I'm gonna wait for them down in the pool before I do that, I need to do a really quick camera change. So we're switching over to the GoPro. Alright, so tonight we're gonna take you to a Cuban club called Mojitos. This place is on A Street and like 93rd Avenue. Una qué? Una quesadilla de Taco Bell. <laughs> Tampoco. Chica, pero voy a que tú me tiras a mí. ¿Sacar las costillas para afuera o qué? <risa> te dije, Martín, no te dije que los abs. y te dije... Te tratan de sacarte los abs. ¿Y tú no te activas? ¿El mamá? mojito no te activó? No, vamos a comprar una carreta, un café y una empanada de mojito. <risa> ¿Eso es todo? Eso es todo. <risa> ¿Ok? Un sanguichito de pollo tropical. Tengo no. tremenda hambre. Son las 10 y 24 y tengo un hambre. Esta mujer no me alimenta. ¿Te sientes igual? Eating a Mac Chicken. No. No. Eso no está en la dieta. Sigue para adelante. Y os voy a dar más chicken. ¡Más chicken! <ríe> Mira dónde hemos parado. Está la carreta. Eh, él necesita su café con leche y su empanada. Mira dónde hemos terminado. Look where we ended, guys. We ended at la carreta. This is a Cuban restaurant. We're gonna eat. ¿Qué vamos a comer, mi amor? We're gonna drink coffee to get high a little top. more hyper. And he's gonna eat an empanada. Yeah, how many quesos? How many cheese empanada? At 10 40 at night.